ever wonder what it's really like to be on dialysis? You hear the word and it sounds scary, right? Like it's the end of the line, but is it? Let's talk about the real truth behind dialysis and what it means for someone's life. So first up, what do our kidneys even do? Think of them as your body's super efficient 24-7 cleaning crew. They filter out all the junk from your blood, keep your body's chemistry perfectly balanced, and even help manage your blood pressure. But when someone has end-stage renal disease, or ESRD, that cleaning crew has basically gone on permanent strike. The kidneys can't do their job anymore. That's where dialysis comes in. It's a life-saving process that steps in to do the kidneys work. There are two main types. The first is hemodialysis. This is probably what you picture. A person goes to a clinic and their blood is run through a special machine that cleans it. You can think of it like taking your clothes to a high-tech laundromat a few times a week. The second type is peritoneal dialysis. This one you can often do at home. A special fluid is put into your abdomen, and it uses your body's own lining, the peritoneum, as a natural filter. It's kind of like soaking your clothes at home to get them clean. Now the big question, what about life expectancy? Let's be real. Dialysis is a lifesaver, but it's not a perfect replacement for a healthy pair of kidneys. Your own kidneys work around the clock, but dialysis is like watering a garden only a few times a week. The plants survive for sure, but they might not thrive like they used to. On average, a 60-year-old who starts dialysis might live another four to five years. But, and this is a huge but, that's just an average. I've met people who have been on dialysis for 10, 15, even 20 years. It varies so much because of other factors like your age and overall health when you start. Younger, healthier patients tend to do much better. Sticking to your treatment schedule is also critical. Skipping sessions lets waste build up, which is incredibly dangerous. And following the special diet and fluid restrictions like no more chugging big gulps of iced tea helps keep your body's chemistry stable between treatments. But here's what often gets lost in the statistics. Quality of life. Many people on dialysis continue to work, travel, and spend precious time with their families. Yes, hemodialysis sessions are long, usually about four hours three times a week. But over time, it just becomes part of the routine. For many, the dialysis center even becomes a social hub, a place to connect with others who get it. The ultimate goal for many is a kidney transplant, which offers the best chance at a long, healthy life. But until then, dialysis isn't an ending. It's a different way of living. A way to keep going, keep loving, and keep experiencing the world. It's a testament to just how resilient the human body and spirit can be.